Hi, everybody, and welcome to Forced Fandom. This is a show where two months at a time, one person tries to convince another person to be a fan of something they like. So, kicking us off for the first season of Forced Fandom, I'm here with my good friend, fellow Ohio University alum, and general media-savvy person, Emily Bamforth. Hi, Emily. How are you? I'm good. That's a high compliment that I'm media savvy. I mean, you work in the media and you watch and listen to lots of media. So, Emily, I've brought you here um, for the next six to eight weeks to talk about a TV show that is near and dear to my heart, um, and it's called Twin Peaks. So, for the audience, have you ever watched any of Twin Peaks, and do you know anything about it? I know that I should watch it. That's literally, like, it's one of those shows that everybody talks about, and then uh, I never actually end up watching it, because I see, like, stills from it, or, like, gifts from it, and I pretend to know what I'm talking about, but I've never seen the show. I don't actually know what it's about. Um, not about a skiing resort, I would assume. Um yeah, I it's one of those things that people the media the media sh tells me I should watch, but I just haven't. So, does it feel like one of these pretentious like the in crowd is into this thing and because of the where you work and everything, you feel like you need to be a part of it? I think that it's not necessarily like the in crowd is part of it. I feel like it's a very specific subsect of people that are very into it. And I feel like it overlaps with the people who are like into Portlandia or into Fargo or like into that kind of thing. Um, and so I'm friends with a lot of those types of people. And so that's where it's kind of coming from in terms of like general media -ness, Um, the media I consume is shaped by the people I hang out with, but like generally I don't think people are prompted to watch Twin Peaks and just kind of see it in headlines as like cult fa favorite Twin Peaks is back. Da 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 da. And so that's interesting that we're doing this kind of intentionally as they're shooting the new season of Twin Peaks. Do you know anything yeah. about the return of the show? Except it's returning now. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long it's been since it was on TV? A very long time. Okay. A very long time. Um, do you know anything about anyone who's in it or what the plot is? Nope. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I'm I, once again, I am assuming there's mountains involved. That's literally all I know. So the phrase, who killed Laurel Palmer, means absolutely nothing to you. I'm sure it means something to you, but no, nothing to me. All right. So this is the part where I fill in the gaps in what you're talking about. So okay. like you said, um, a lot of people in the media are really into Twin Peaks. Um, it's usually on lists of the best TV shows ever made. TV Guide, Time Magazine. Um, I was looking at the Wikipedia article today. There were like three or four publications that have added it to that list. It's also frequently put on lists of shows that were canceled too soon, similar to your um, Fireflies and things like that, which I'm sure you're familiar with Fireflies. <laughs> that doesn't bode well. I am like, I, I have a line of like, of where I do not go and Firefly is on the other side of that line. That's interesting. Watched, Why? Yeah. I watched it once um, with someone and... I it was like the first couple of episodes and I couldn't stop laughing because the the effects were really bad. So you were making fun of Firefly for the effects? Yeah. And it was just like it was that and the dialogue was a little cheesy in parts and so I would make fun of that and I like picked a character and just said like I didn't like him for no apparent reason because it was fun making the other person mad. So So Okay, so you are aware, I guess you're not aware because you don't know, um, so you're probably not aware <laughs> that Twin Peaks is um, about 26, 27 years old now? I mean, I did say it was a long time. I, I was pretty spot on in my assessment, I feel. Yeah, so it's going to look dated. Um, okay, so they're not, up, uh, they're not, oh, right, yes, okay. 
Are they updating it for the for the reboot, or are they going to shoot it in the same kind of style? So when it comes back, they're continuing in the continuity as if, um, well, we don't actually know, but we're assuming they're continuing in the continuity as if 25 years has passed since we last saw these characters. Okay, so... There's okay. supposed to be a book that bridges the gap. Okay. This seems... Okay, so what's the basic premise here? Is it on a mountain? So it is a town in the mountains in Washington oh, I called Twin Peaks. Um, it's more of a forest than a mountain, but there are definitely mountains in the region. So the town is located, um, I think they say like five, either five or 15 miles from the Canadian border. Okay. So it's very far northern Washington. And it's a small, small town. Um, and its primary source of income is a lumber mill where a bunch of the characters work. And the lumber mill is important for various reasons. Because it produces lumber primarily. And because a lot of the story revolves around the people who own the lumber mill and people who work there. How very north and south of it. In the very beginning of the show, this isn't a spoiler, the homecoming queen turns up dead on a beach. And this is the catalyst for the remainder of the show, is how did she die, who killed her, and what exactly is going on in this town. And it's told through a number of different perspectives, but primarily through uh, the special agent from the FBI, Dale Cooper, who has been sent to investigate this murder. So Special Agent Dale Cooper is played by Kyle MacLachlan, who you may know as the mayor from Portlandia. Um, he was also in Blue Velvet and a bunch of other David Lynch projects, which is how he got involved in this, because it is a David Lynch project. That's the basic premise. Uh, Dale Cooper is here to investigate the murder of the homecoming queen, whose name is Laurel Palmer. Oh, and, so that's where that little thing came in. Okay. Yeah, and so there are posters in the show all over the place that say, Who Killed Laura Palmer? And during the show's run, they made t-shirts that had the poster on it, and people would wear them around, and people were... The show had this big water cooler following of, like, every week people would watch it and then discuss it throughout the week. I've heard stories of people gathering at somebody's house and watching it while the VCR taped it, and then immediately watching the episode back, trying to figure out what happened. Jesus! The, yeah, so the following for this show is incredibly dedicated, and the way that it aired and the anticipation of it is extremely important as you watch it through the current lens. Because this isn't a show that's designed to be binged. It has cliffhangers at the end of every episode because it aired weekly, and those cliffhangers are really important to the structure of the show. How can I just watch it week to week? How many episodes is it? Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. What's my schedule? What's my time frame? I have to. We're gonna, to we're, gonna work, we're gonna work. We're gonna work that out together. So Twin Peaks <laughs> is a show that is really important for the show itself, but it's also equally interesting for all of the backstage politics of how the show was made. Okay. So David Lynch, <laughs> right? So do you know who David Lynch is? No, not a clue. David Lynch is this very divisive director. Um, his movies are very disturbing and usually pretty violent and kind of campy. I'm um, going to hate this. It's, this sounds like I'm going to hate this. I don't know. It sounds, so, I have no idea because like on one hand I love shows like this and I love that kind of like trying to figure it out thing. I watched The Killing for quite some time. But like on the other hand, this sounds like it could be super pretentious. <laughs> it's not. It's it's grown pretentious with age because TV critics talk about it a lot. But at the time that it aired, it had huge mainstream success. Okay. So what mm -hmm. happened was David Lynch, who had a mainstream success with his movie Blue Velvet. Um, it's not important. It's just backstory history. So 
<laughs> he had he had some success, but he was having trouble getting another movie out. Um, his projects kept falling apart for various reasons, and his agent suggested he do a TV show. So he and his co-writer Mark Frost mm-hmm. came up with the basic idea of Twin Peaks, brought it to ABC, um, and the executives were really split on it. Some of them loved it, some of them hated it, and it almost got killed in development. So the compromise they came up with was to shoot a 90-minute pilot, and then if the show flopped, they were going to use it as a made-for-TV movie in Europe to try and recoup some of the money. The show, of course, was a huge success, and then they agreed to do seven more episodes that fall. And after those seven episodes, the audience was still into it, and so ABC ordered a full 22 season for season two. But when the show came back... They felt like um, Mark Frost and David Lynch needed to reveal who killed Laura Palmer, and David Lynch didn't really want to, and Mark Frost kind of felt like people needed closure, and there was a lot of arguing about it, and they actually end up revealing who killed Laura halfway through season two, and then they basically have to rework the whole premise of the show. Because in David Lynch's mind, this is really all about the people and the weirdness of this town, and not... Like, the murder was supposed to fade into the background over time. But people became so fascinated with the murder that they ended up having to reveal who killed her, which in some ways killed the show. So a lot of people will say that the second season of Twin Peaks is really awful, and I don't really want to try and argue that here. I think because so many people view the first season so well, I think we're just going to watch the first season... But I think it's important for you to know that you're not going to figure out who killed Laura Palmer. They're not going to tell you. You have to watch into the second season, and I'm not going to make you do that for the purposes of this podcast. There are a ton of characters in this show. I would say there are probably 15 to 20 important characters. Okay. Um, Some of them more so than others, and some of them at different points in the show than others. Okay. But the through line for the entire series is going to be Dale Cooper, the FBI agent. Um, He became kind of a teen heartthrob at the time, which made him even more important to the show because he really helped boost ratings. Mm -hmm. Yes, young Kyle McLaughlin was apparently dreamy. Okay. I haven't seen him as, like, a being. Hold on. I'll tell you if he's dreamy or not. This thing... Oh, he is dreamy. Wow. Wait a second. I know this guy. He's He was in Sex in the City. Oh, uh, I don't know Sex in the City super well. This is uh this is uh Trey or whatever his name is. Uh Charlotte's husband. Well, he's very likable in this show because he is the most normal human being in this town. So, I'm going to give you a little bit of preface and I'm going to assign just the pilot as your homework for this week. And so people who are watching along at home that have never watched Twin Peaks, just watch the pilot before you watch the next episode of this podcast. Because the pilot is an hour and a half long. Oh. <laughs> so long. The last half hour of the pilot will have you on the edge of your seat. The first hour is going to be rough. And the main reason is they you have know, to set you're up really 20 doing characters. You're really doing your job at selling this to me. Like, you're really doing your because job. Because you don't realize it at first, but all of these characters are actually really important, both to the mystery and to the way the town is set up. So Why so many characters? What is the point of so many A number characters? of characters that you may only get one line from in this episode, but they will go on to become very important. This is just sounding terrible. I'm worried. I'm very worried. It sounds terrible. And... I don't know how to convince you not to be worried. I think you probably have a right to be worried because I kind of remember being worried before I watched the pilot as well. Okay, so but I will have time to catch up on my house of cards this week. Yes, because you only have to watch 90 minutes of Twin Peaks. I only have to watch 90... And you know I'm going to wait to do this until next Saturday because that's how I roll. And that's fine. Um, You don't have to take notes. If you want to take (laughs) notes, you can. (laughs) What is that? What if I come back next week and instead of like this like shitty setup that I've got going on here that looks like I'm like in the basement somewhere like murdering someone? 
Um, <laughs> I have like this huge board, and it's like got like strings on it to try and figure. And out. you're mapping out all of the people in in Twin Peaks. Yeah. I mean, that's the sort of thing that fans of this show do. Oh. So it may turn you into that person. I don't want to be that person. I've never been that person. Except with making a murderer. Then I became that person. So, wrapping this up then, what kind of person do you think Twin Peaks fans are? What is your perception of this fandom? I don't know yet. Right now, my perception is it's either people who watch the original, right, and that's just like the everyday, this is what was on TV, blah, 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 blah. It, it can be anybody. Like, back, it, probably like people who, no, I don't really have an age. I don't really have a range there. But like now it's people who are like, I'm watching this show from like 25 years ago. And isn't this cool and retro? and So we'll see. I'm excited and worried. More, and it's not about a ski resort, so there go all of my pre, uh, my pre uh, existing perceptions. It amazes me that your existing perception of this show was a ski resort. <laughs> there, there is a hotel. It's not a ski resort, though. <laughs> but I want it. To, that's I'm just going to be like this. Isn't a ski resort. This is not interesting to me. I think it will be interesting to you. I am interested to see if you are interested. Okay. Because if not, these are going to be a slow eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, it really is. You're going to like, we're, it'll just be me being like, I really don't care about any of this. Let's talk about Sex in the City some more. Maybe I'll make you watch Sex in the City. Maybe, but we'll have to wait eight weeks to figure out. Yeah. All right. Well... If people want to find you um, and want to hear more about what you have to say, where can they do that? Um, to probably hear my thoughts about everything, but mainly, uh, actually mainly pop culture and social media, but also I'm a reporter in Cleveland, so that's going to be a little bit of a uh, mixed bag there. <laughs> so you'll get some Cleveland-specific news. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Emily M. Banforth. Maybe I'll live tweet the pilot. Maybe. That maybe maybe we'll do. watch it at the same time and live tweet it together. But maybe. you're so mean to me on Twitter. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> ask. I want like a safe space to watch my Twin Peaks in private. You're okay. so mean. You'll just be like, your Twitter game is not on par right now. Well, I hope that you watch the episode and I hope that you won't look anything up before or after you watch it. Okay. Can you do that between now and next week? Yeah, I can do that. All right. And if anybody else wants to be involved in the conversation about this, you can tweet at Emily or at me, at TC Olmstead. Um, use the hashtag forced fandom, but please don't tweet spoilers. It's very important for the nature of the show that you don't put spoilers on the hashtag. And if you do, I will block you because that's not cool. Also, Other than that, you won't get great live reactions like the one where I looked up the main character in the show. <laughs> exactly. You will ruin the great live reactions on the episode. <laughs> well, all right. Well, until next week, we 